Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Well, as part of our Inquire Indiana series, we want to hear your questions about the Hoosier State. Then we'll work to find the answers. And we got a couple of questions about security during the upcoming election. Gregory Carmack from Culver wants to know if Hoosiers have the right to ask for a paper ballot. He says he's concerned about election hacking. And Lucy Gerlach from Bloomington asked which Indiana counties do not have paper ballots. Barbara Brozier tracked down the answers. Whether Hoosiers have access to paper ballots depends on where they live. About two-thirds of Indiana's counties only offer electronic voting on Election Day. The remaining counties offer optical scan ballots, or paper ballots, that people fill out and a machine tallies. Let's take a closer look at how that works in Monroe County. Monroe County election officials spent months preparing for this week. We have workers getting out ballots to go out to people who have requested an absentee ballot by mail. So those ballots are being sent out in the mail every day. Even before early voting started on Wednesday, Election Central fielded a lot of calls from people with concerns. People really want to know that their ballot is secure. And I can safely tell you that Monroe County is doing everything possible to make sure that their, their integrity of their ballot is being taken very seriously. There are several steps the county takes to safeguard its election process. Monroe County voters use paper ballots. Those who vote early won't have their ballots counted until Election Day. Until then, they're kept behind this locked door. Anytime we handle a ballot in this office, it's always by a bipartisan team. No one takes a ballot and even walks across the room without having another person of, a, of the other party with them. So that ballot is never alone with anyone. When people vote on November 6th, they'll insert their ballots into a machine that will tabulate the results. And that information is stored several ways. The data goes on to the data card. The data is, is housed in the machine until we clear it after the election. And then we also have the ballots we can go back to. That leads to other concerns about hacking. But the voting machines aren't connected to the internet, which makes that hard to do. And the data cards would show evidence of interference if someone tried to manipulate them. The National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine recently released a report that recommends all states use paper ballot machines by 2020 because that ensures there's always a paper trail. Indiana's Secretary of State says it's something her office is working on. So we'll be talking to the General Assembly and our counties and our vendors about making sure that Indiana can, can provide that. But it won't be in 2018, but we feel very confident on our machines and our equipment that we're using. In the meantime, only Hoosiers living in counties that use paper ballots can vote the old fashioned way. Just requesting a paper because you wanted to vote on paper. I think it's important for people to remember that we've had more problems reading paper ballots and the way the in voter intended to vote than we've ever had on any machine that we use here in the state of Indiana. You can find out your voting status by going to indianavoters.com. In addition to telling you whether you're registered to vote, it will also list your polling location and the candidates that are on the ballot. Well, we want to explore the questions you have about Indiana, and you could even be part of the process as we find the answers. Just go to wtiu.org slash inquireindiana to submit your questions.